What is going on, Wix Nation? MPS here from Wix Training Academy. And today, I'm going to show you how to add pagination next and previous buttons to your online course in Wix. First and foremost, before this video even kicks off, if you haven't yet watched the previous parts of this mini series that I put on, I'll throw a card above so you can follow exactly how to build an online course in Wix and all the steps we've gone through. This is part five. Next, I want you to comment down below right now. Pause the video and let me know if this series has been helpful, which part helped you the most, and what you need more help on when building an online course in Wix so I can take that next step. And then lastly, if you haven't yet joined our Wix Nation community, we would love collectively as a community to have you in here. And it all starts by clicking that subscribe button and turning those bell notifications on. And you'll instantly join a engaging, thriving Wix Nation community, the largest Wix training community on the internet. I'd love to have you. It starts by clicking that subscribe button. Other than that, let's go ahead and hop into today's video. Okay, so we are in here at the editor. Now, once again, I am prefacing this video by saying if you haven't watched the previous parts to this mini series, go ahead and click the card above and watch them so you know where we're at right now. Obviously, if you have watched them, you know that we've already built out our course. We've built out a dynamic page here in the member pages that displays the video and the video title. I showed you how to add modules if you want to add modules. And now I'm going to show you how to add pagination if you'd like to add pagination. Now you may be asking, what is pagination? Well, essentially what that will allow you to do is say you've got multiple different modules and you want people to be able to go from one module to another fairly seamlessly without having to click and search all around and click different uh, areas on the site. You can manage doing this through one simple click of the button or better yet, you want them to be able to switch through pieces of content in your database. So one piece of content after another. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to go to the add button right here. You're going to click it and then you're going to go to button. You're then going to choose a button. We've got one here. I'm going to click that right there. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it. One is going to be previous. One is going to be next. So we'll just name them here too to make it easier. This will be our previous. And obviously with deductive reasoning, this will be our next. Um, except spelled correctly. So now we've got our two buttons, our next and our previous button. Here's what we're going to do now. We are going to click our previous. We are going to click this connect to data button. And then you are going to click click action connects to and you are going to choose either next page or next item. If you click next page, it'll take you to the next dynamic page in that particular database. If you click next item, it'll take you to the next item in that database. So let's just say you've got one row, right? You've got one row and you've got data in there, maybe the video title and the video. If you click next item, it'll take you to row two, whatever's on row two. So that video title, that video, and then continue forward, row three, row four, row five. If you click next page, if you've got one dynamic page with a, maybe a set of data on it or a set of content, a video, some text, a description, a PDF, it'll take you to the next dynamic page. So if that next dynamic page contains your next set of videos, modules, whatever that may look like, that's what that means. In this case, we're going to click previous because this is our previous button. We're going to click previous item and then we'll go ahead and then you'll see it is successfully connected to data uh, because it turned green. And then obviously for our next button, you'll connect to data and click action connects to next item. And just like that, you have connected your previous and next buttons to go to the previous and next data pieces in your database. Now, here's what I'm going to tell you. In this particular website, 
these buttons aren't going to work right now. Why? Because we've got one full dynamic page with all of the data from our database in one repeater. In order for these next and previous buttons to work properly, either one, this would have to be a dynamic page, and then we would have to have another dynamic page set up, which we do not, and we would have to choose next page because then you go by page. The other way we would do this is if we created one dynamic page for each piece of content. So that way it can filter through each item on the database. So that's how that works. If you've got it all set on one repeater, you can have a next and previous button, but make sure you're going to next page, previous page, not next item, previous item, um, because those are two differences. One will go by the next item in the database. The next will go by the next dynamic page associated with the database. So keep that in mind when you're going through this. Other than that, I hope this video helped you out, and I'll give you a little preview of what it would look like with these buttons, how they're connected. If we click Next, it doesn't do anything right now because we've got all of our data on this page, and there's only one page we've got our data connected to, and we clicked Next Item instead of Next Page because we don't have a page, and all of our items from the database are on this page. But when you do it, if you've got a dynamic page and you click Next, it'll go to the next page item in your database or the next page. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please drop a like down below. Comment again and let me know if this video helped you out along with if this mini series has helped you out and what you would like to see more help with. And I would be happy to create another video for it just like I did for the page nation that you guys have been asking. And lastly, if you haven't joined our Wix Nation community, seriously, sincerely, and collectively as a community, we would love to have you in here. We are a growing, thriving community. It all starts by hitting that subscribe button and turning those bell notifications on so you never miss any Wix training content here. And we are the largest Wix training community on the internet. I would love to have you in it. We would love to have you in it. And we have a good time over here, guys. And I create videos based off of your engagement, your feedback. So I would love to see you here more often. I appreciate you spending some time. Stay healthy out there. And I'll catch you on our next video.